Hello, I'm Hello. Nick. I'm Yana. Yana, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Welcome to Makunagara. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh -oh. Mr. Aji. Okay. Our two guys. Okay. Mr. Aji. Good morning. Welcome to Makunagara Place. Good morning. Fanesha. Yeah. Where are you from? Malaysia. Oh, Malaysia. And? My name is Nick. Nick, my name is Aji. Nice to meet you. Nice Where to are you meet from? you. I'm from America. America. Okay. So, today... <laughs> I'm given a job to guide you the best. Yes. Yes. Nice. Hello there from Solo. Uh, today we're going to get a tour of Mungunagaran. I'll butcher that palace. Uh, long story short, from Pakalogan, uh, I took a bus to Solo, and uh, we're going to get a tour of the palace. So. Last time I was in Solo, I showed you guys the other palace, but uh, apparently there's another one. And so I want to figure out what the story is behind that. Um, you know, apparently Solo Siddhartha has two palaces. Yeah, so now we're getting this private special tour. Vanessa knows someone from the royal family from uh, Malaysia. So uh, the girl used to work for Vanessa in Malaysia. She's part of the royal family, not work for her. She kind of interned and did some stuff. Yeah, she didn't work, but she was uh, kind of helped Vanessa out at her shop. More and like helping. Yeah, more like helping. To be honest. Okay. Uh, but she uh, is part of the royal family, actually. <laughs> and so. Uh, yeah, Kraton. Yes, that's right. Batik this, oh, this is, uh, we call it Parang. Yeah. This actually is yeah. identity of the palace. Yeah, I know. So, from the prince, yeah. uh, so from the family, they give us some rules. Cannot especially, wear Parang. In, right. yeah. So that's why we <laughs> okay, that's yeah, cool. cover this uh, Saru is okay, no problem. Yes, no yes. problem. Because I actually told her that I don't have like the, uh, okay. the Batik Kraton. Yeah, but don't worry. We, oh, we, that's great. We always, uh, this Provide. facility to, okay. to the... Okay. Yeah. So Can Vanessa was kind of worried. She didn't have okay. the proper sarong. Because I know I cannot wear parang because parang yeah. is only for the royalty. Okay. If Did you're you in if you're in the kraton, uh -huh. you cannot wear parang. What about me? Uh, actually, uh, not 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 too not too big actually. Sorry, but because this is not full. Mine is full. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So but mine is want, okay. If you want not to wear it, it's okay. We can we can. We can oh sure. When in Rome, I'll okay, I can get a proper one. Yeah. Oh, actually, this motif for wedding. Oh, okay. Very good. Sir? Yes. Okay. Let's go to the first building. Don't, don't forget the okay. camera. Okay, Vanessa and Nick. So, today is Wednesday. Every Wednesday, this family, they have some attractions. Mm -hmm. We have a dancing practice there. And we play the instrument gamelan. And every Saturday, yeah, they have attractions, but without uh, dancing, it's just only playing the instrument. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I tell you everything about this uh, palace, about the status, about the history, about the architects, because it's 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 quite unique because uh, they are Japanese, mm -hmm. but from the style of the building, it's a little bit a combination yeah, between European style and uh, Japanese style. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go to the first okay, building. Cool. This way. Can you just help me clear up something real quick? So there's another palace yeah. in Kratom, Kratom, Kratom. Solo, right? The blue we have and two royal family. No, it's just another royal family. Yeah. Ah, okay. So I tell you, uh, actually, what is the relationship between uh -huh. the other family and uh -huh. then the basic, uh, yeah, the basic uh, of the family? Actually, long time ago, they were the, from the same family, mm -hmm. but they had to divide it in the colonial mm -hmm. zone of Netherlands. Okay because they want to more control the uh, Yafa Island, mm. so to make the powers weak. Uh, so, so the, the Dutch divided, divided the family. Divided ah. the family. And this family, uh -huh. this family get uh, the level of the, uh, yeah, the level of the government is <laughs> lower than the other one. Mm. Yeah. So in Kraton Kasunanan there, the leader there, the name of the title of the leader Sunan Pakubuono, mm -hmm. the meaning mm -hmm. of Sunan is a uh, king. Mm -hmm. And our leader here, since the title is lower than the king, we just call the title is a prince. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the prince here is not the son of the king, no. Mm -hmm. They're different title to differentiate, to their, to differentiate their level, yeah, okay. the level of the government. Mm, okay.
huge. It's, uh, it's pretty beautiful. Okay, Nick and Vanessa. So actually, sometimes tourists ask to me that about a royal family. They are confused or maybe they are curious that in Indonesia, the system government is a republic where well, you still have a royal family. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's a different. They don't know actually the history, the real history. Mm -hmm. So before independence of Indonesia, before in 1945, actually we had so many countries, almost 150 countries. Mm -hmm. But the status is a monarchy. Mm -hmm. It's a monarchy or a real family. Yeah? Include this one. In this city, in Solo, actually we have a two real families. The other one, the name is Kraton Kasunana. And this one is the name Mangku Negara. Now, what is the difference between the two real families? Actually, we can look at the title, in, uh, the title of the leader in each of real family. Mm -hmm. now, I told you that in Kraton Kasunanan, with the leader, the name of the titles, Sunan Pakubuono, the meaning of Sunan is a king. Yeah, so his status, he is a king of Sol. And our leader here, with the title name Mangkunagoro, the title is lower than a king. We can call it a prince. But the status, a prince, the prince here is not a son of the king. Mm -hmm. No, the different titles to differentiate their status. So actually they were independent. Mm -hmm. They had their own territory land. They had their own uh, assets. Mm -hmm. They had their own uh, system government. So they were independent long time ago. Yeah. But after independence of the nations, everything's changed. After 1945, mm -hmm. independence of Indonesia, we are republic. The mm -hmm. system government of Indonesia is republic. So with the conditions, no country inside the country. Mm -hmm. So all of the royal family followed, joined, sorry, joined a Republic of Indonesia, include this family mm -hmm. and the other one. So they joined Republic of Indonesia, but with one condition, all of what they had. Mm -hmm. It's like assets mm -hmm. take over by the government mm -hmm. of Indonesia. So they have nothing. Mm -hmm. But there is only one thing the government of Indonesia cannot take over. What is that? Their culture their traditions like this, mm -hmm. the governments cannot take over. Mm -hmm. But the government of Indonesia asked to the family, please keep it, mm -hmm. preserve it. It's so important for Indonesia. So Indonesia has an identity, a characteristic about the culture. Mm -hmm. So the government of Indonesia asked to the family and they help some, I think it's like a subsidy to this uh, family, but the subsidy to maintain the building and to maintain the uh, culture activity like this. So I can say because this family was like a country, so this palace was the center of the government. Yeah, so that's why they live here and then they did their uh, system government here too. So that's why we still have the administrative canton. Long time ago, that was administrative counter, mm -hmm. uh, office. Sorry, administrative, administrative office. Mm -hmm. For example, my prince too, the tenth prince too. He has a profession. What is his profession? So, his background, he studied law. So his profession is a corporate lawyer. Corporate lawyer. And he is commissioner. Yeah. Does uh, does he have a queen? Not married yet. Not married Still yet. single. Wow. <laughs> your king, your prince. Yes, yes. Has a, a lot of wives. Sure. Why? 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 Why did they do that? Because they have to have a lot of sons. Yeah. To continue the thrones and the. Yeah. So that's why, long time ago, yeah, the prince, the king, has a lot of wives. Yes. Usually with the concubine, huh. maybe they have a son. Yeah. The concubine is not the mother. The mother is the princess, technically. To, to choose for the next generations, right. the most important, the son from the princess first. Uh -huh. if, that's, if that's not possible though? It can be. Right. It can be. Depend the condition. It happened in the eighth prince. Okay. The eighth prince is a son from the concubine, uh -huh. not from the 
princess yeah. because the princess of the sevens just only one daughter, Christine Nuru. But it's it, it's uh, more. Yeah, it, I mean uh, it's much more important from the princess. Right, of course. This is where all the the women live. Long time ago, Long time but ago. now it's the era is different. Mm -hmm. Or the aunt of the current, of the current prince. prince. So Tunku Aisha and the tenth prince is a cousin, yeah. right? And actually, I work here. Uh, I am a specialist uh, Dutch. Yes, yeah, so I speak Dutch, Dutch clients. Dutch clients, oh, Dutch clients. Dutch. So if there is a, a tourist from uh, Netherlands, from mm -hmm. Dutch, I speak Dutch. Mm -hmm. Now, this is extra building. I can say it's a living room of the family. Sometimes Tunku Aisha, it's all of the family, yeah? But Yana? Yeah. yeah, it's all of the family stay are here yeah or maybe the meeting rooms from mm -hmm. the ninth prince when he has a uh, official guest it's like a meeting room mm -hmm. also uh -huh. uh, european style japanese style and Berlin style we can look at the european style maybe from the stained glass i think stained glass is the is the technical glass in uh, europe mm -hmm. yeah in european style yeah. or maybe the western style sometimes we find a uh, stained glass in the church or maybe in yeah. in the old building but look at the pattern. Yeah, it's, it's the Javanese. A shadow puppet. Yeah. It's a con shadow puppet concept. Yeah. It's made in 1941. And the maker is architect from Netherlands. The name mm. is Herman Thomas Karsten. Yes, a shadow puppet concept. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Berlin style. We can look at from the decorations. And we have a spectacular decoration. It's an ivory. The prince sent this ivory to Bali to carve the Beautiful. ivory. The carver were four people to carve it. And they, they, they need some, I think it's almost one year to carve it. And the uh, carving tells about Mahabharata mm. epic story. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yes, what is that? So there's a sultan and a royal family in Yogyakarta too, right? Okay. Yeah. They have special privilege or uh, like a special region, right? Special region. Special what? Region. From what I understand, the uh, it was after Indonesia independent won its independence. Of, independent of Indonesia. The the royal family maybe here. They did something to more. They did something like to a, lose have, their special privilege. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's like this. Uh, in Yogyakarta, mm -hmm. uh, it's a little, little different, different like in Solo. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, the tourists always ask that. Why in Yogyakarta, the Sultan of Yogyakarta still has a power? It's mm -hmm. like a, a f political functions. Mm -hmm. Because the Sultan of Yogyakarta, he's a king of his family mm -hmm. and he's a governor for. Uh, Yogyakarta mm -hmm. people. Why? Mm. But not, why not in uh, Solo? Actually, after independence of Indonesia, when two real families of Solo join of Republic Indonesia, Mr. Sukarno gave a special condition, special status, special region of Solo, mm -hmm. of Surakarta. Mm -hmm. And then uh, one week later, two real families of S Yogyakarta mm -hmm join Republic of Indonesia. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the historians say, they always say that Solo is unlucky, mm -hmm. like in Yogyakarta. Why? Because in 1946, there was a, a, a chaos, mm -hmm. a situation. Yeah, the, 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 the situation was chaos because there was characteristic, sorry, the, the, there was a character, the name is Tan Malaka. So Tan Malaka. Tan Malaka. He he Tan a, Malaka is the Papa uh, Republic of Indonesia. Yeah, yeah. Tan Malaka <laughs> is like a uh, republic radical, mm -hmm. anti feudalism, mm -hmm. anti aristocratic mm -hmm. in republic. Mm -hmm. Now, why it happened on in Solo? Because the characteristic of two royal family of Solo, yeah, the aristocratic is 
more moderate. Mm -hmm. So the Tan Malaka thought that, oh, if their mind is too over, mm -hmm. so I think they, they, they can be more controlled mm -hmm. in a republic. Now, in Yogyakarta, the characteristic of the realm of Yogyakarta is more conservative. So that's why there was a chaos mm -hmm. here. It's like a movement. So the Tan Malaka is initiator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he kidnapped the uh, 12 king, mm -hmm. and then here is in the era of the eight prince, make some chaos. So that's why the king of Solo, Paku Buono, yeah, the 12th generation, and then here the eight prince. So, okay, the situation is not good. So they give it back the special status, mm -hmm. that is the special region, give it back to Mr. Sukarno. Mm -hmm. And to reduce, to reduce the situation at the time, Mr. Sukarno, Solo become a part with Central Java province mm -hmm. and become mm -hmm. a city. Mm -hmm. So that's why our leader now is a mayor. The status of the royal family is just symbolic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In Yogyakarta, yeah. nothing happened about the anti-feudalism, anti-aristocracy. Mm -hmm. So until now, this the, the conditions in Yogyakarta, yes, a special region. Mm -hmm. what, what are your views about Tam Malaka? Tan Malaka, actually, some of the historians say Tan Malaka is uh, like uh, the characteristic is the Republic Radicalist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, uh, this is one of the character because yeah. of his ties to communism. Yeah, right. 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 <laughs> some of the people say it's Republic Radicalist. Mm -hmm. Radical. mm -hmm. I don't express too clear. No, it's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> I Thank try so to much. I no, try to tell excellent. everything about this palace for you. I hope yeah. It's excellent. Yeah. One time one day uh, with mm. with your other friend, your families yeah. just okay. maybe this uh, visit together with the uh, Tunku Aisha. Okay. Yeah. I have a question. So like the Solo Batik and the um, uh, Jogjaka Batik is the same, right? It's basically yeah. the same. Basically the same, but the color is different. Color is different. Different. So Jogjakarta is uh, lighter, so the background actually is like a uh, white. white. Yeah, should but be. Yeah. Should be white. But Solo is um, uh, dark brown or maybe uh, right. black like this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got it. But uh, I, I I prefer Solo one because uh, the black color, the dark color Striking. is striking. Yes, and uh, looks more elegant. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's it's uh, yeah, it's uh, the taste of the people is different. Correct, correct. <laughs> okay. But I love a uh, uh, dark one. Oh. I love the dark one. I love the dark. One. All righty, so we're just making our way towards Jogjakarta. We're about to be in Klaten, and I think that's probably where we'll stay. But we're just passing through here. And I noticed this clean, beautiful looking river and neighborhood over here. And a lot of people always say, Nick, why you always show us the dirty compounds and the dirty places? It's not that I'm intentionally going to these places, it's just that I just show you where I'm going. You know, like where I happen to be at the time and I just record. And well, here's a good example of what a neighborhood could look like if you just picked up a little bit of trash, kept your rivers clean, put some pots and plants out. I mean, there's so much potential. And uh, a lot of times it's just, unfortunately, uh, kind of destroyed because of all the trash. But here, good job, whatever neighborhood this is. All right, so. We have made it to our spot. Across the street over there is a nice, quiet, and well-maintained, beautiful park. And we're gonna call that home for the night. Across the street, there was this Miyam restaurant. So this is gonna be our dinner. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.